Alright, so nagbabalik tayo sa ating violin tips and tricks. And for today's video, I want to talk about my bohol. And, and especially my fingers on how I put my fingers down on the bow and why it works for me, no? And how it can help with your playing. Yeah. Okay, so first things first, a lot of people find that my bow hold is a bit too close. Masyado daw malapit sa stick. No? And here is my bow hold. Yeah. This is generally how I hold my bow every time. No? Kung mapapansin nyo, I also find it, I think, masyado mong malapit. Pero, I have explanations for it. No? It might help you out. No? If you're starting out, baka makatulong siya. So, it's mainly here. My contact points are not here, no? Kasi parang normally, you put your contact points here. But I put mine here. Right on the line. But the thing is, hindi siya sa ibabaw. I don't put my contact point on top directly. I actually put it a little bit in front. Kaya marang ang lapit niya. Siguro malapad lang din yung deliri ko. <laughs> Yan. So I put it a little bit in front. So as you can see. So it's not directly on top. So basically, I'm wrapping it around. So this part of my fingers is sitting on top of the stick. No? And of course, pinky on top. Yeah, so ganyan yung general bow hold ko. No? Yeah, so my fingers are put, my thumb is right here. Medyo nakalabas, hindi ako nakaganon na. Yeah. So why is it that way? No? So a lot of people generally hold their bows like this. Yeah. And I find it not enough to generate the, uh, let's say, pressure or weight that I need for my bowing. No? Parang nakukulangan ako sa weight na kaya reproduce. And with my experience, based on my experience, no, there's some tension points going on pag masyadong, it's not really that far, but it's a bit far. No? Masyado siyang malayo. In a sense na, you give a lot of work to the fingers. Why? Okay, why? Kasi, at this point, there's no way that the hand could be relaxed. Eh. Bakit? Kasi there's no resting position for it. No? If you go down, ah, ganyan na siya. And if you go up, ayun na. You build a lot of tension right here. Dito sa upper part na papunta sa knuckles. Why? Kasi nga hindi siya nakaka-rest. There's no resting position for it. But the thing we want is to keep the bow down on the, on the strings. Diba? Yun yung importante. Yung kapit ng bow na yun. Kaya nga, we really emphasize that by every time we play, no? We get that bite in order for the bow to stick. Ngayon, kung masyado kong malayo, or at this point, no? Yung fingers mo would be doing that work. Sila yung maglalapat. So what ends up happening is your fingers get strained. Yeah. That's a lot of the things that happen right here. Dito yun yung mararamdaman, no? Nagkakaroon ng konting strain at that point, no? But if you go a little bit closer, nawawala yan. Bakit? Nakaka-rest kasi siya sa ibabaw ng stick. No? And if you look closely at the side profile, almost flat na siya with your hands. And here. And until here. So, it goes one big straight line. Versus if I go right like this, hanggang dun sa knuckles flat. And then you slide down right here. So, merong additional break point, no? Na parang parang sa wrist na nagbe-break. And it's what? Disrupting that flow of pressure or energy coming from your body going to your hands. So, if you have, you can keep it as straight as possible. Mas maganda, di ba? Yan. Siyempre, it will always differ depending on your hand size, no? The width of your hands, the length of your fingers, no? Pero, basically, yung contact point ko na yun is helping me out generate more weight going down with less effort. Bakit? Kasi, naka-rest na yung daliri ko dun eh. Kumbaga, parang isipin mo, yung kanina na ganito is you're pushing from here. Na nakalayo yung kamay mo, no? If you're like, for example, you're going up a pool or something, ganyan mo siya push. But if you are closer, what's happening is your weight is already there. Bulk of your weight, the weight of your hands can transfer easily. So, parang 
nandito ka na or nakaupo ka na sa kanya. Parang ganun, yung yung feeling that you're trying to give, di ba? And with that, kasi we get a lot of our energy or weight here, di ba? Sa ating back muscles, going down, going to our fingers. And the thing is, the fingers are the closest part of our body to the bow, di ba? Siya talaga yung magko-control. But the thing is, ito pa isa, if you look closely, or if you touch your fingers, no, halos wala naman siyang laman, wala siyang muscles masyado. There's a lot of connective tissues and ligaments, no? Pero, the bulk of the muscle is not there. No? Sa kamay, marami din. Ayan. Medyo malaman, di ba? And the arms. And the thing is, we want to transfer that uh, weight, no? Kung hindi man 100%, as much as possible, may transfer natin siya. May lipat natin lahat. Doon sa fingers, so that the fingers can do their work. Which is push down. Kasi pag nakaganito, once nagkaroon na ng tension here, you're not going to be able to push 100% down. Bakit? Kasi, that tension will rise. Diba? Kaya sometimes, people tend to hold their bows. Not support, or, or let's call it grip. Ayan, nag-grip nila yung bow. No? Pag nakaganyan ka, eh. Diba matigas? Naninigas na yung dito. Versus if you come closer, malambot. No, kahit anong gawin mo, malambot talaga siya. Kasi walang tension na nabubo. And we want to alleviate all the tension that we don't need. Of course, we need some tension so that we can operate. No? Kailangan kasi firm but relax nga. Lagi natin sinasabi. So, we can only do that with a little bit of tension. But if you're closer, it's easier for you to actually move and play louder. Another thing is, if I keep my fingers closer, no? because we know that we use the fingers for some movement with the bow. But if we keep the fingers a little bit closer, mas madali mo siya na ipapagalap. Okay? So, my down bow goes like this, and then my up bow goes like that. So, in a down bow position, my pinky curls up, everything else follows. And if I'm going up bow, my pinky moves up and it goes to the index. Doon pumupunta yung torque. Tawag nila doon torque. Hindi na siya pressure kasi it's not directly there. So, you're rotating the bow. No? Ayan. So, up bow, down bow, up and down. Okay. And this is also a common misconception that you need to work your fingers. And mas madali mo siyang makokontrol if you're closer. Why? Because they they don't really move. Ayan. No? Parang ang hirap paniwalaan na hindi talaga sila gumagalaw. But the thing is, if you're close and it's intact, talagang nakadikit siya, if I move my hand or my arm or my wrist, my fingers will follow. And that's the thing about this motion of the fingers. Akala nila pinapagalaw actively. No, you don't need to actively move them. What happens is, as I am close, kahit relaxed ako, susunod talaga siya. Parang sila yung nakadikit, sila yung humihila. So it's not uh, an initial action to do this. It's more of your arm moves and then the finger moves with it. So when I go up, see? Yeah, slow mo. So again, down, susunod yung fingers. And then when I move up, susunod din yung fingers. So it's not actually active yung movement nila. It's more passive in a way. Na hindi sila yung mag initiate ng movement, but it will follow along. No? Kasi pag nandito ka, active talaga yung movement na yan. Magiging super active. Kasi, hindi madadala. Hindi madadala ng kamay mo yung stick. So, dahil malayo nga siya. So, you will have to actively move it. No, I'm not saying it's bad. Versus... If you can hear the difference, no? medyo mas malaman yung mas malapit. Kasi nga, andun ka eh. Kumbaga, it's, it's like you're pushing something pero may nakaharang pang isa tapos yun yung tinutulak mo so basically you're doing more work with the same amount of effort no? kasi kung dito kung ibibigay mo yun 
less effort na yan. If I do it a little farther away, may konting difference sa sound. It's, it's relatively bigger if I'm closer. No? That's for me, no? Try to experiment around with your contact points or how close your fingers are. No? It might feel awkward at first, no? But I always try to attribute it to, ano, when you're holding something new, diba? Parang, if I give you a violin and you're not a violinist, you won't hold it like this. Of course, you will hold it like that, di ba? Parang, parang nahihiya, humawak, ganun, di ba? The same goes with the bow. Kasi hindi pa tayo sanay. So, we want to feel that touch on our fingertips. No? But the thing is, the fingertips do something else. So, you have to make sure that this part of your hand does majority of the work of the fingers. No? Sa volume... Diba? Parang ang mangyayari, you're not letting your fingers work on their own. Diba? It's the same thing with the concept of stopping with your knuckles. Diba? We use the knuckles to control. Kasi dito nang gagaling yung, ano eh, yung movement. The same way, these don't really need this a lot. So ito, itong movement na to, of course, it comes from your fingers. But everything else, comes with your hand moving as, as well. No? Yeah. So you can do down. This is a down bow without the bow. And then my up bow goes like that. So pag ako na siya, ayun, down bow and up bow. So it's not really actively using the fingers, but the thing is, your fingers should know what they are doing. Yeah. So... If you can keep a contact point that's a little bit closer, just have you have to listen to your body. No? You have to understand that if you're a bit closer, there's less tension. And if you're farther away, there will be more. Because, again, there's not a lot of muscle or strength in your fingers. No, I think there's an article talking about finger strength that there isn't much strength in your fingers no kahit i-train mo siya nang i-train kasi nga walang masyadong muscles so you have to work with your hands and the fingers are what extensions of your hands so you have to work with them and so I'm going to tutulan kayo yung bago on this episode and try it out no comment down below if you want to learn more about other techniques that I might share with you and also of course subscribe to my channel share this video and check out my course on Udemy, still available. Links down in the description box below. Follow me on all my socials and check out my Spotify. I'll be uploading new music soon and I hope you listen to it. And this has been Ryan Manakil for Violent Tips and Tricks and I'll see you on the next video.